What's up everyone, Bender here with a tutorial on how to add custom quests to Monster Hunter Portable 3rd permanently. Now I have a folder here, and it'll be in the, I'll have a link to it in the description, but it contains all the files you'll need uh, throughout this tutorial. And the only thing in here that uh, a lot of you might not have, will, but will need, is the custom qu uh, initial custom quest folder uh, for Portable 3rd. It'll have the uh, MH third bin, all this stuff in there. Just make sure you have that. Okay. So first, we're going to start off by going to the English Quest Editor and go ahead and start it up. Next, you're going to create a new quest, whatever we want. Uh, let's do. Let's do Lava Canyon. And as you can see, this is all our custom stuff. We'll just call it this one, our first quest. The client, we'll, we'll leave everything else at regular. And now we need to choose what we want to hunt. Actually, let's not make it in the Lava Canyon. Or let's just make it a high rank deserted island quest. Now let's again just call it our first quest. Client, we'll leave everything else uh, special condition, let's just change that to none. The special condition, all that is, is it determines, like, if you need to be a certain hunter rank to join this quest, if you need, have special requirements, any of that. Now, next, we're going to choose our monster, uh, which is right... Not on this page, we'll get to that in a second. Um, as you can see, everything is pretty much explanatory oh goal condition here we go this is the general monster you want to be killed if this is not set to the actual monsters you have in the level the quest will never be able to be completed timer will run out and they will lose so keep it something that you know you're gonna put in so let's just go ahead and put in um, dark tigrex in other words black t tigrex start position since it's a high rank you usually want to keep this at random but you can set it to base camp if you want, or a special. I just leave it at random. Monsters, as you see, has Raytheon and Great Joggy as the monsters for this area. You can just go ahead and change the second one to the dashes that removes it. And the second one we set to Janug or Black Tigrix, so we or Dark Tigrix, so we just set that. Keep everything the same. The only thing you might want to change is the size. Uh, we'll go ahead and make it a mini one, so we'll set it a size to of 20. Uh, minions are the minions that appear in the level. I generally keep that the same. Supplies, gathering, pretty self-explanatory. Same with material rewards. Change this to uh, Dark Tyrex's rewards. Stuff like that. Once we're done, we're just going to hit File, Save As. As you see, I already have a couple quests in here. You'll get those two since they'll be in this pack. But we'll just call, go ahead and call this one our first quest. And now you can exit. Now go back, go into the regular quest editor. And the main reason we did it, you can do it, start it off in this one, but the thing is, this one is untranslated, as you can see, so it might be a little difficult to navigate through. The point being, just go to File, Open, go back to our English quest editor, go into uh, Patch, and find our first quest.pat, and load that up. You'll see a lot of the stuff is still there but it's untranslated. So now you just go to save as, uh, go back. I made it in the folder called quests. We're just gonna change it, the name. We'll call it, again, our first quest. And we're gonna change the save type as .mis. And click save. So now you're done on the, uh, with all the quest editing. Now that we have our quests in the quest folder, you're going to load this plugin, the SED. Well, it's more of a homebrew, but you still need to run it. So let's switch over to PSP. If we're going to run this, and what it's going to do is it's going to allow us to get the data from our custom quest bin file that you saw earlier. So let me just start this up. And 
Kamaori. As you see, it's booting up and it's going to be in Japanese. So if we go down, depending on where you downloaded it from, we'll determine the image. As you see, it will generally say DLC next to it. You're just going to hit circle. Oh no, actually, you're going to hit triangle. And you're going to select this first option. You're going to go ahead and hit circle again. And hit yes. And it's not showing it up on the screen recorder. Uh, but it's going to show just some Japanese text. It's going to just let it load. All right. So now that's done, it's going to give us a little notification. And then for right now, we're done on here. So we can go ahead and return to the main menu. And next, uh, you're going to go ahead and load up your PSP on the USB. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out. There we go. Okay. All right. So you're going to go ahead and open your PSP and now you're going to find this ULJM M05800QST.bin. We're going to go ahead and take that, copy it straight to this folder. All right. So next what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click this encrypt quest thirds. Click on DEC load our Q qst.bin you should get decryption start bin loaded checksum matched whatever how many quests you have decrypted and data.bin saved successfully and decryption end so now you can go ahead and exit out of that next we're going to go to mhp3 quest data manager next you're going to click this little dot and click on data.bin as you can see these are all the custom quests that are currently on or in my PSP's uh, save file. So next what you're gonna do, you're gonna select the next one in order. And you're gonna click this where it says MIS and then a bunch of moon speak. You're gonna, we're gonna go to our quest folder, click our first quest. And now it's in there, we don't have to do anything else. The only other thing you wanna make sure you, is that this right here is the quest ID. Make sure it doesn't match with any other quest. So generally I like to boost it up by a couple hundred random number 246. We'll just do that. Oh, and you have to save it. Just click that to change it. Oh, yes, there. Alright, so now we're done in here. Just click exit. We're going to go back to encrypt quest third. Click ENC and click on ULMJ05800QST.bin. It's going to say, do you want to replace it? Just click yes. It should say encryption started data been loaded and it should say one plus what your previous was we had 68 at first now it says 69 uh, quest encrypted it should say bin was saved encryption end so now we're done now we're going to go back to our PSP and you're just going to throw a ULM or ULJM 05 800 quest bin back on there go ahead and replace it next we can go back to our PSP apologize that this part's going to take a little long because I have to reset my PSP in order to get this to work. Just give it a moment. Okay. Next you're going to go back to your memory stick. Go load up the save data encryptor slash decryptor. see it's going to boot up again we're going to go back down to the uljm yada yada qst file we're going to hit triangle but this time we're going to go to the second option go ahead hit circle it's going to again ask you something moon speak just hit yes and let it do its work and what this will do is it will repatch the original uh, data.bim file with the file that we put on our PSP on the root of the memory stick. Alright, it says it's done. Now we can go ahead and exit and go back to our main menu.
All right. Now we can just go ahead and load up our game. So now you're going to go ahead and load up your save file. Now you're going to go ahead and make your way over to the village, uh, or the guild hall, excuse me. Doesn't matter, offline or online. over to either the guild ladies go to event and depending on what level quest you actually made it will determine which is the next selection we went ahead and made ours a what was it a high rank quest so as soon as it loads I'm gonna go to high rank and there it is our first quest Slay the monsters all we have let's go ahead and start it up And let's go ahead and find our creature. And keep in mind when you load initial area how I said the first monster was Raytheon. It's going to go ahead and set the initial spawn of the creature to the area that of uh, the initial creature it put. So Raytheon normally starts over in the cliff area so that's where I put our black tigrex if you want to go ahead and change this to a uh, another area you can do so just keep in mind the values are might need to be uh, tweaked a little bit because different areas have different uh, coordinates for their positions yada 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 so as you can see, there's our little mini baby Tigrex. All this without having to do a load memory patch. Granted, it takes just a wee bit longer just to get it started and get the quest on there. But the perks of this is you never have to do a load memory patch. All you have to do now is update your uh, bin files and just re-upload it to your PSP. Use the uh, encrypt slash decryptor to just re-add it to the actual game and you'll be set it has been Bender here thank you for watching my video and I'll see you guys in my next video